Hello and welcome. In this video, we will find out how we can implement the moving average in Python. Over here, I have a plot of the UK average daily temperature. This is the average of the whole of the UK. And as you can see, the data is quite noisy. Every day, the temperature varies quite a bit. Ideally, we want a way to smooth out this noise. This is what a moving average would do for us. A moving average would produce something like this. It would smooth out the noise. It is useful when you have noisy data things like, for example, stock prices, temperatures, and so on. It gives you a trend of what the data underneath is doing without the added noise. Let's now find out how we can work out the moving average of a time series. Imagine that this is the time series that we want to calculate the moving average on. Imagine these, for example, were temperatures. And the way the moving average works is that it makes use of what is known as a window size. This window will represent a portion of our data that we want to calculate the average on. And after we calculate the average of that window, we shift the window forward and we recalculate the average. Let's work through an example so we can understand it. Let's say our window size is 4. And in our data over here, we are going to put our window of size 4 on the first four items. We start from the left. Then what we do is we get all of these items, the 15, the 16, the 24, and the 18, and we sum them all together. If we compute the summation, this will give us 73. And then what we do is we get the 73, the summation, and we divide by 4. In this particular example, this will give us 18.25. This is the first number of our moving average time series. Next, what we do is we move this window forward. We move the back to one item forward, and then we move the front to also one item forward. The window has always to be of the same size. In this example, it is four. And we repeat the summation. 16 plus 24 plus 18 plus 21. And this will give us 79 in this example. Again, we divide by four, and now we have 19.75 and we continue in this fashion. However, there is a shortcut. There is a quicker way to compute it instead of summing all the numbers every time. Imagine you have a very large window. You would have to sum them up all together every time you move forward. There is a bit of a shortcut that will make us compute the moving average faster. What we do is subtract the first number of our window, which is the 16 in this case. And this is effectively moving the back portion of the window one item forward after we do the subtraction and we add the next item of our list in this example it's the 17 and this effectively moves the front of the window one position further in this example if we subtract 16 from 79 and add 17 we get the result of 80 and then as usual we divide by 4 giving us 20. this is our next point in our moving average and we continue in this fashion. We subtract 24 from 80 and we add 22, resulting in the window moving one position forward. And then we continue working out the moving average in this fashion. For this particular example, you get these following results. Once we arrive at the end and we have computed all of the moving averages, once there is no more places where the window can move forward to, what we do is we get all of these values and we can plot them out on a chart, giving us that smooth trend line that we saw before. Let's now move on to Python to implement this in code. Over here, I have a function called moving average, accepting two parameters, our time series that we want to smooth out. And the second parameter is the window size. This had a value of four in our example, but this could be anything. The larger the number is, the smoother the line. In our implementation, we need the result. This will be an empty list. And at the end of this function, we will simply return this result. We will store the moving average in this result list. The first thing that we need to do is to sum the values of our first window. So we do sum of input starting from the first position up to window size. We are going to sum up the first window size items in our list. This will give us the first summation of our moving average so we can store that into a variable. We call this variable moving sum. And then we need to append to the result. We say result.append moving sum divided by the window size. This is our first moving average value in our result. We now need to compute all the others and we can use a loop for this to say for i in range of length of input 
and since we have computed already the first window size we need to subtract it from our loop minus window size because we are going to proceed further from that point onwards and the first thing we do in this loop is to update the moving sum variable by subtracting the last item in our window and adding the next one so we say moving sum plus equals input at i plus window size this is summing up the next item after the window effectively moving the front position of our window one position forward and then we subtract the last item in our window the input at position i effectively moving the back pointer one position forward and then we append the result again we say result.append moving sum divided by window size and this is it this is our full implementation over here i have the input that we saw on our first slide the one containing the average uk temperatures over one year and here i'm calling this function with the input and the window size of 15. and if we go ahead and run it you can see over here that it gives me the result the moving average and we can put these values into our chart and it gives us the following output as you can see some of the noise is reduced however this is a little bit jittery as well this is because we have a window size of 15. if we increase the window size to 20 the line is even smoother and we can increase it even further this is an example of a moving average of 30 on the same data and the line is even smoother and this is a window size of 40 as you can see it's even smoother as you increase the window size you are smoothing out the input even further the higher the window size the smoother is the line if you like these kind of videos please subscribe and let me know in the comments below so i post more similar videos